Good morning, Grand Oaks Grizzlies. I'm Rachel DeMarco. And I'm Cal Guerra. And welcome to GoTV. Thanks for joining us for Growl News. We hope you're having a wonderful Tuesday here at Grand Oaks. Please stand and join us for the U.S. Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for the Texas Pledge. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. We hope you all enjoyed the long weekend. Spring break is just around the corner. Science National Honor Society applications are now available from Ms. DeVell, Ms. Ego, or Mr. O'Neill. Students must be a junior with a B average in an AP science course to apply. All applications are due March 5th to Ms. DeVille in room 3111. Help National Spanish Honor Society color our school with the Pulsera Project. What is the Pulsera Project? Scan the QR codes on any Pulsera Project posters posted throughout the school to watch a short video. Pulseras are only $5 and are sold in the cafeteria kiosk during all lunches through Wednesday, March 4th. Get yours and let's color Grizzly Nation with the Pulsera Project. Grizzlies, are you interested in a career in the medical field? Would you like to start gaining hands-on experience in high school? The GOHS Sports Medicine Program is currently taking applications for student athletic trainers for next school year. Applications can be found in the athletic training room, counselor's office, and online. Completed applications are due on March 6th. This Saturday from 9 to noon is our cultural festival at GOHS. Come to meet author and Japanese manga artist Masako Rocks. Learn how to draw manga, play games from other cultures, and have fun. It is $5 to enter, but your entire family can get in free with you. Come see Miss Walker in the library if you would like to get your name placed in a drawing for a chance to eat lunch with Masako Rocks. Candidates for student body officers and class representatives should be campaigning all this week. Everyone should be looking for posters and flyers about candidates and decide who to vote for in the upcoming election. Elections will be coming up next week. Okay. Throughout February, we celebrate Black History Month, established by Carter G. Woodson in 1926. He selected the month of February because it, because it is the birth month of both Frederick Douglass and Abraham Lincoln. Each week on Growl News, we will highlight a, mon a monumental event or a phenomenal person in Black History Month. This week, we have a very special guest. Please welcome David Wilkins to our studio. One, this week's Black History Moment focuses on a courageous group of young men and women of all races known as the Freedom Riders. We all have heard about Rosa Parks and her brave stance against segregation on Birmingham buses. The Freedom Riders took a similar stance riding buses across the country to protest inequality. These civil rights activists began riding interstate buses to the, into, the, into the segregated South in 1961. They wanted to challenge the non-enforcement of the United States Supreme Court decisions, Morgan v. Virginia in 1946 and Boyden v. Virginia in 1960, which ruled that segregated buses were unconstitutional. The southern states had ignored the ruling and the federal government did nothing to enforce them. The Freedom Riders challenged the status quo by riding interstate buses in the South in mixed racial groups. The first Freedom Ride left Washington, D.C. on May 4, 1961, and was scheduled to arrive in New Orleans on May 17. This challenge to local laws and customs was met with protest and violence. Local police arrested riders for trespassing, unlawful assembly, violating state and local Jim Crow laws, and other alleged offenses. But often the riders were first met by white mobs who attacked them without intervention. Freedom buses were pelted with rocks and bottles and even torch, but the Freedom Riders persisted. But the brutal attacks on the Freedom Riders brought international outrage, and the cur courage of the Freedom Riders inspired thousands of people to join the civil rights movement. The hard work and persistence of all those in the movement would lead President Lyndon Johnson to sign the Civil Rights Act in 1964. The Freedom Riders played a significant role in the signing of that federal law, moving the U.S. further on the pathway to equ equality. Thank you for spending some time with us today in our studio. Our Young Go TV member created their first news segment yesterday over the upcoming blood drive. Let's take a look and see what they have to say.
My name is Sam Chudder and this is Health Science Theory. The class is for juniors who have already taken health science and they want to advance in the medical field. Today everyone in the class is practicing phlebotomy. The process is all the way from alcohol um, swab to actually drawing the blood in the tubes and then they're going to spin the blood and see what's in it. In real life people draw blood to use for victims of traumatic accidents and then people who have lost a lot of blood in surgery. The blood drive is at Grand Oaks in the LGI uh, on March 4th. Wow, they did a great job. Everyone, be sure to donate the, to the HOSA blood drive. One of our members went to the soccer game against New Caney. DOHS came away with a W with a score 1 to 0. Way to go, Grizzlies. That is all the news we have for today. Tune in tomorrow for another Growl News. Thank you for watching GoTV. And remember, it's it is always, always a great day to be a Grizzly. Day.